Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm, I'm sad to say that this presentation doesn't have any cat pictures. Um, while I was making this presentation, I realized that um, 31 Nanog meetings ago, I did my last lightning talk at Nanog, um, which was about home routers breaking IPv6. And so 10 years on and 31 Nanog meetings later, I'm back on stage speaking about home routers that break IPv6. I guess there's a lesson in there. Um, I think I'm going to start on the title for my, um, my presentation at uh, Nanog 107 in um, October of 2029. It's going to be something with IPv6. Um, so today's topic, IPv6 adoption is killing my throughput. That sounds weird because IPv6 is supposed to be faster and better, right? Um, so a tale of two pipelines. So this is my home connection. And for, for some of you who have a DSL connection, you might want to leave the room because you're going to be sickened by the numbers in this presentation. Um, I'm truly blessed. I live in a city in a country where I get a symmetrical one gig fiber to the home connection and it costs me about 500 bucks a year. Um, that's brilliant, right? Um, there's a snack though. Uh, it's a municipal fiber build and um, it's shared between a whole bunch of providers. So they have to do some trickery to make sure that the right customer ends up with the right provider. And then typically they use like two different options. One is PPPoE. Um, which is typically done for, for ISPs that already run like a DSL network uh, in, in the area. Um, then the other one is a native Ethernet solution, but using DHCP option 82, the DHCP relay stuff uh, for provisioning, um, which links your DHCP uh, public Ethernet address to a VLAN in some god awful way. Um, that works for IPv4 just fine. Uh, the only problem is I now have this super duper, super modern internet connection at home that doesn't do native IPv6. Okay, um, but yeah, well, there's no issue, right? I mean, we've developed 6RD for exactly this purpose. And uh, well, we, who, whoever needs 1500 byte MCUs anyway, um, and all CPs these days support GRE. So that should be fine, right? Um, it's usually in hardware. Um, so, but here we end up with the two separate pipelines inside of your CP. The one is hardware accelerated, which is for typically IPv4 forwarding, NAT, CV6 forwarding, PPPoE, IPsec, GRE. Um, what's not hardware accelerated is stuff like WireGuard because it's simply too new, OpenVPN because there's too many buttons, um, and IPv6 in IPv4 GRE. And that, as more and more content is shifting towards IPv6, if you have a dual stack at home, um, gives you an interesting challenge because this is what my CP looks like if I'm using IPv4. My CPU utilization is pretty much next to nothing and I get like 900 something megs of throughput out of my uplink, which is pretty good. Um, but this is IPv6. I'm pegging out the CPU at maximum utilization. It turns into a bit of a space heater. Um, and I'm, I'm hurting to get 170 megs of throughput. Um, and since more and more content is moving to IPv6, actually performance of of internet in my home is going down. Um, so conclusions on this, well, DHCP option 82, which some, quite a few networks still use, is it's not perfect. Um, more to the point is um, the V4, V6 parity in, ha in hardware is still not there. Um, and until, it, and until it's, this is fixed, I mean, the more people implement IPv6, the slower my home connection gets. Um, and anyone who knows an alternative CPE that doesn't have this issue, um, I would love to hear from you. And that's it. Thank you very much.
Any questions, comments, remarks, tomatoes, rocks? I mean, I know coffee's waiting outside, so I'm, it's probably in vain, but. Uh, I'm not Tony Tauber from Comcast. No, no expert in DHCP option 62, but what, I mean, is there uh, some sim similar magic that could put you in the right VLAN for V6? No. Has anyone thought about it? Um, well, so I mean, you, you can go to the IETF and look at DHCP V6 and all of the mess that's been going on there. DHCP relay has never been thought of or implemented in that, let alone for prefix delegation or what have you. Okay. So it's simply not there. And I mean, the, the one thing I like to point out is there's no, pro there's no problem for the ISP because their side is all fully hardware accelerated. It's just me as a client that ends up getting worse and worse performance. Anyone else? In that case, I wish you all a good coffee break and thanks for your time.